Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Don channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Don and we're going to play a micro truck simulator. Today we're up here in Alaska in Fairbanks. We're going to pick up uh, 46,000 pounds of scrap metal and take that to uh, Anchorage. We're in the uh, Mac. Uh, what is this? Mac CHU 613. Pity. Pinnacle, pinnacle map. I can't even say the damn word. Anyways, it got the MP8 Mac engine of 505E, which is 505 horsepower economy. Um, and then we got the M Drive 13 speed automated Mac transmission in it. That's what the plan is so far. But it just kind of looks a little weird. I don't know what it is, but it looks like the hood's too short or something. It's just been a while since I've seen one of these trucks, too. So. Long while, actually. That's the plan for today. You just have to uh, kind of overlook the missing textures. I got to the Alaska North to features conflicting with some of the graphics mods I have installed. We're not getting along very good. Don't play nicely. Okay, tell me come down here now. Where the hell do I go? Yeah. We go on. I don't even say. Better not be right there where I was. I'll have to go back to see. We need the escape button. Let's go here and check out a freight market here. And bring it right up. There it is right there. We're going to the Middle West. We can't use the map and look up that way because it just it doesn't go far enough. We're looking for the Middle West. So we'll just go back to the map here and... How in the hell do you get there? I see why it's confused. Hell, that confused to me. Okay. Uh. Go up here and see what's going on. Bone fire truck. Can't get through that gate there. I don't think it automatically opens. That's where we need to be, though. Definitely where we need to be. I've seen this truck around for a while. I haven't ever downloaded it and actually used it. I would give it a try and see. Looks to be a pretty decent model, I mean, compared to some of the others. So I've done a pretty good job. Alright, let's see how we can get in here. Look around. Go to the no textured area, huh? It's gonna be super, super bright, so. Just a warning. It will fit. I think we can go right through here. It's a little road. Yeah. It'd be pretty trippy if the ground was actually like that. Okay, I see the place. Uh, do one get in it? Doesn't look like it's this way. No, it's not. This is gonna be the whole video right here, just me trying to find this load. Come 
things. Please stop first. Man, that sounds right. Little light on my mind, I don't want to let it shine. How in the hell did you get in the damn place? Seriously, this is just ridiculous, man. Okay, there the place is. There's that, there's that. I can't enter there. But they're on this side. Right there. How the hell did you get into there? Get in there. That's the gate we was at that we tried to open up, but it didn't, it didn't open or anything. Get an area over here. Okay, you can't get in that way. There's a fence there. Not a fence there. Okay, so we gotta come down this way. Maybe we can get in there. And then we'll be right there at the metal place. Okay. Mm. It's like real life, man. It's complicated. What the fuck did I run into? Oh shit, there ain't nothing there. I Close to it, but okay, we'll go with that. Here to pledge your box. Oof. Like a bad acid trip or something. got in a belly dump for. That's it, right? I think we're going to haul it in. Uh, this. That does. 3,000 pounds. I will take that. I don't want to go to Oregon. Sure in the hell don't want to go to Arizona. Yeah, that's only 200,000 miles. Plus a hundred and thirty-nine thousand scrap metal. Okay. Makes more sense to have one in one of these side dumps than it is a belly dump. I mean, it could be metal fragments, you know, like chunks of metal. I still don't know if you'd use it in a belly dump, though. This doesn't seem right to me. How's everybody been doing out there in the YouTube land? You guys been doing pretty good? So, nothing but the best for you. Pretty good here. Starting to get a little warm in this room. How's that? Doing good. So what's the storm? And I'm saying this, and then this is like 2.30 uh, in the morning. Slow, I didn't know if the collision box was going to be sticking out the corner of it or not. I didn't put it, I, you know, I 
was modding this truck, I put in the uh, SISL. He has like a uh, hologram GPS. It's supposed to shine up on the window. I would never get it to work. I mean, I could get it so it shines up, but it just shines like a little blue box. Doesn't show the road or anything on it. Which is pretty cool. If it'd work, it'd be even cooler. But we had to go with the old GPS uh, stuck on the window. On the window up there. Yeah, we're using Alaska North to the future map. Like 20 bucks. Let's say if you got an extra 20 bucks and you like a ice road driving and challenge and stuff. Uh, I'd say get it. I think it's well worth it. Good lord. Look that my thumb pop. That hurts like a... Alright, let's see. We can make our way out of here. It's 384 miles. We might do a video of running from a Fairbanks or Anchorage going up to Purdue Bay to the ice road through there. It's a, it's a long old slow go. You're doing about 40 miles an hour. Expect to go any faster than that. Well, that's about half of it. Anyway, I sure wouldn't take that route if you want to in a hurry. First part goes pretty smooth. It's almost two lane road paved about the snow or anything. You get about halfway and then you get down there by cold foot. Yeah, probably like 10, 20 miles north of cold foot. You hit whiteout conditions and blizzard, wind blowing, you can't see shit. And dogs froze to your legs. All that good crap. Sounds like a good time to me. torque going. Excuse me. Turning here. Alright, speed limit's turning. We've got to try to do the speed limit and everything because we got the traffic fines turned on. I remember growing up to East and live uh, mile or two down the road from my Simmons where they processed chicken and the chicken haulers always uh, drove these Macs like this and they're flying everywhere dudes eating chicken throwing bones out the window it's actually a song like that and chicken truck chicken truck just my luck The speedometer goes up to 140 miles per hour. Let's see if we can hit that. What will happen? Damn 
need some green, good looking green grass. I like that, that looks real good. We definitely tell us about putting some time in on this map. You know, I wouldn't buy maps, but all the reviews and everything for this map. But it's pretty damn good. It is so far. I'm great at purchasing it. Goodbye. Seen Bigfoot. That's my squitch. Both those the same thing. Says Squatch and Bigfoot. That Squatch is just a Canadian thing, I think. Try Snow Runner out. They got it on the Steam Workshop. I believe it's for fourteen dollars, fourteen or fifteen USD. So if you don't have it, and you've been thinking about it. The price is right. I'd been, I'd get it. You don't get all the passes and everything, but. It'd be nice if we did, but that's not gonna happen. They're too money hungry. Only did 50 year one. It's a little damn thing. All the other that game probably end up costing you 70, 80 bucks. It's old pretty fast though. At least for me it did. I think I made it to, I think I got year two pass or year three pass. I don't remember which one. And that was about it. I don't know if I was spending more money on it. All you're getting is like a one or two new trucks in the map. But still, it's a, it's a good game. The bus didn't struggle with the mud and the rain just gets to me. Fighting a, fighting a losing battle.
into their truck. I'm trying to do some uh, couple routes down that way. I don't know if I'm going to drive all the way to Mexico. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It all really depends on how I feel. carried away on that accelerator sometimes. Creek with that old nasty, you know, this ain't the one with the nasty water. Well, the water's kind of nasty, but. It looks, the water looks like chocolate milk. And dark. Still have our lights on, so. I got a damn ticket earlier for not having them on. I 
Battle of Bad. Go to pull out the yard. Bam. And damn $600 ticket. No headlines. Definitely like that new air brake sound though. That sounds pretty good. A bit louder. Turn it down a little bit, it's probably be alright. Some of those new things they added with the 1.47 patch. Some project next gen graphics mods too, so I'm sure he's in slow mode. The textures are missing. Go we'll get the beautiful skyboxes. We got some good skyboxes. can on the back. Jaguar holding ass. Set the economy of the game. some hickory trees in a way. I 
once in a long time since I did the whole tree thing. I did forestry back in school. Identify the trees, tell whether the trees are healthy or if they're dying. So and so on. You've got a little badge for uh, doing the forestry. FFA. Either forestry or judging livestock. I didn't have no livestock where I lived, couldn't have livestock there. So I had to go with the forestry. with all the stinky animals anyway. All the stinky animals and their bullshit. It's like a little car in front of us. What the hell is that one supposed to be? the shit water. That one almost ran into the bridge here. I'll tell you two about the dirtiest river in the world. Somewhere in the Middle East somewhere. One dude down there washing his pan, pots and pans in the river and upstream had a dude up there taking a shit. I should just let the turds float on by and just keep going on. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. So if you want to take your shit and do it on land somewhere, shit in the same river you clean your pots with. Like, I even think they did like a public bathroom thing and they had the pipe running out to the river and the sewage pipes. Like, what the hell is he using? Right in the bathroom. The shit's just going to go in the river anyway.
That's not that new cruise control thing, the emergency braking or whatever it is. Works pretty good. As long as you remember to activate it. But dumbass flying up on cars at a red light. Boom, right through them. Didn't have it activated. It does work as long as you activate it. It's a pretty good truck. Drives like a truck, rides like a truck. Because it is a truck. McDonald's. I'm shitting it. Denny's. Alaska, everybody.
slow down just in time for that one. Material, so we don't have to stop. We're open when flashing. Let's see, this is where the scrap metal load needs to go. Fairbanks to Alaska, scrap metal. 379 miles, 8 hours, 3 minutes, 62.7 gallons of fuel burned, $4,664 earned with 778 XP. Level 35, yeah, we just hit 35. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to. Don't forget to. Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Share. And leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.